Now bring in journalist uh, Fidel Fernando, who has been covering uh, this story on the ground in Sri Lanka. Good to have you with us here on France 24. How significant is the Prime Minister's resignation today? Uh, hi, Dylan. Thank you for having me on. Uh, I'm, I'm not in Sri Lanka at present, but I have been uh, following and, 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 and been at the protest many, many times over the last few weeks. Um, the, the, the resignation is huge. Um, it is something that the, the protest has been calling on for more than a month now. And it's not just Prime Minister Mahindra Rajapaksa who is uh, perhaps, you know, uh, the most, or almost certainly the most powerful political figure in the Rajapaksa family and, uh, and, the, and the figure on which uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa's brother, the president, rode into power on, uh, based, you know, partly on his, on his credibility. So his resigning is, is big and is a big problem for the family. And uh, you'd think that Gotabe Rajapaksa, the president, uh, his resignation would have to follow not too far after this. Um, there is, there is uh, a certain amount of kind of doubt on this because uh, the, the violence that was spurred today was, did seem to be very, very closely tied to the prime minister behind the Rajapaksa. Uh, protesters or pro-government demonstrators, pro the Rajapaksa demonstrators, turned up at his official residence at Temple Trees, and uh, they were invited into his residence, which is, you know, almost completely unprecedented that a, a group of people would be allowed in uh, to the prime minister's official residence. And uh, and then it was only after they they left his residence that the violence began. They began to tear down some of these kind of occupied tents uh, that. Uh, that the anti-government protesters had, had set up for weeks, and then they went on uh, to a further protest site, site down the road and, and broke down that protest site and also set fire to certain, um, to certain structures there as well. So there's, there's been a, uh, this has probably been the most violent day in the protests, spurred by, uh, by the pro behind the Rajapaksa protesters, but also in the last couple of hours, in the last one hour, 90 minutes, we've also seen violence from the other side. We've also seen the anti-government protesters respond to that violence by uh, instigating violence of their own. There's been uh, reports of government ministers and government MPs having their homes or, uh, or, 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 or vehicles also set alight. So it is a little bit of a, 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 an, inten uh, an intense situation in Sri Lanka at the moment where uh, you don't know where it'll stop. Uh, the escalation seems to continue uh, at, you know, right this moment, there are, uh, the violence is, seems to be taking a, a step up. And Fidel, given that you just mentioned, you know, that the prime minister has resigned and one would expect the president's uh, resignation to come in potentially days or weeks to come, who knows? Uh, could this all risk spiraling out of control? Because as we know, Sri Lanka is no, ri no stranger to, to, to violence at home. Yes, uh, I think it's important to take the long view of the protests. Uh, they've largely almost almost completely been peaceful from the protesters' side. It is just today that a, 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 a match has been lit and the protesters have, for the first time in, in the course of these protests, acted violently uh, against the anti, anti, uh, against pro-government mobs. So you, you, you know, uh, it's difficult to, to form a, a complete uh, uh, complete um, view on this just yet because the the situation is developing. But it seems as if the Rajapaksas have made this kind of calculated bet to try and escalate the violence. And while the the prime minister has resigned, the president, who is the main person that the protesters have been calling for the resignation of in the last month, um, he still has not resigned. So we we continue to watch this and see what the Rajapaksa family's uh, response to this is. Uh, Gotabe Rajapaksa has, no, has made no, uh, no step towards resignation, and his, his is the most powerful office in the land. And he, uh, you know, it, people are not just calling for his resignation, but also an abolition of the presidency, that is a separate thing. But, uh, but Gotabe Rajapaksa res resigning would be the key thing that would bring uh, some stability and some peace to uh, the, the situation, which at the moment, you know, is uh, is very volatile. Volatile indeed. Uh, Fidel, thank you very much for that. Uh, Fidel Fernando there.